Hello and welcome back to Get Fit by 50. I'm Mark Lee. This is my week 45 Get Fit by 50 weight loss results video. This week, I'm gonna show you how to eat an elephant. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. So if this is your first time watching Get Fit by 50, thanks for stopping by. I'm just a fat guy who's trying to lose weight and I'd love to have you follow me on my weight loss journey to lose 100 plus pounds before I turn 50 years old on February 26, 2021. And yeah, it's 2021. I'm down to seven weeks left. So all I've done is walk every day and try to maintain a calorie deficit of under 2000 calories. So most of the time I accomplish that and I eat whatever I want. So each week's a new adventure. So after watching this video, please check out all the previous videos to get caught up. All right, so last week on week 44, I ended up gaining 6.8 pounds over Christmas, backtracking from 90.2 pounds down to only 83.4 pounds down in 44 weeks. I gained 10 pounds in three days. <laughs> New Year's is coming up, so <laughs> you know what's probably gonna happen. Let's see what I did on week 45. Wednesday, I did steps totaling 11,122 with a morning 5K. No cookout at Hooterville, but we ordered some pizza and ate some popcorn and combined them, I guess. Anyway. I also drank more beers than necessary and wound up with 3,468 calories on Wednesday. Great start again. There we go. Anyway, remember, you can see everything that I eat each day in the My Fitness Pal online diary, and the link is in the description below. All right, so Thursday, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year, everybody. I weighed in at 260.2 pounds pre-poo. Three pound spike overnight, and once again booted out of the 250s club. Who knows how many times that's happened, but hopefully again, this is the last time, as I say every time. I did steps totaling 10,346, and I drank many margaritas and snacked out on some whores duvers. I think I was passed out by 12, anyway. Not too bad for New Year's calories. I think uh, I did 2,675. Could be worse. And I made no resolutions. It is what it is. Who knows what's going to happen in 2021. Hopefully it's better in 2020. But it doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it already. I want a refund. All right, on to Friday. New Year's Day. I weighed in at 262.4 pounds pre-poo. Up even some more. <laughs> I did steps totaling 4,358. Didn't even get to my 6,000. No morning walk, and I slept in until 8 o'clock. Went to my brother's house for some New Year's Day grub. We had yummy pork, including pork belly, black beans, collard greens, and some other fixings. And of course, I drank again. That's three days in a row of drinking. 2021 is really off to a bad start. But I got a cool giraffe mask, which uh, apparently I had on upside down in this picture. This is how it really goes. <laughs> anyway. And I built this stressful 3D elephant puzzle, which is just odd that I decided to do elephants. I already had this pre-planned, but uh, we'll talk about elephants later. On to Saturday. Saturday, I weighed in <laughs> at 263 pounds up some more still going the wrong direction but it's all my fault 2020 was a crazy year and i just wanted to celebrate the end of it so i now vow at the time of me recording this video not to drink any more alcohol until my 50th birthday on february 26 and hopefully make it to my 100 pound goal hopefully it's looking grim but uh, i think i can do it but yes, I drank last night, so I, I said I was going to not drink, but I still squoze one more in, so now it's official. <laughs> anyway, I uh, did steps totaling 3,300 and 
two. That's even lower than yesterday. Didn't even come close to 6,000. No walk. I just went into recovery mode and watched movies all day. I mean, I barely even ate anything. I only ate eight calories of 901. So that's a low ball. Punished myself again. <laughs> anyway, on to Sunday. Sunday, I weighed in at 259.8 pounds pre-poo. Got rid of some toxins. And I uh, back into the 250s club again. So hopefully this time it's for good, but we will see. Uh, I did steps totaling 7,667 and calories of 1,157. So another low ball. All right, on to Monday. I weighed in at 256.4 pounds pre-poo. 3.4 pounds more down, got rid of more toxins. <laughs> I did 8,856 in steps and eight calories of 1,453. On to Tuesday. Tuesday, I weighed in at 254.6 pounds pre-poo. Still stabilizing, but I don't think I'm gonna get to that uh, 6.8 pounds that I gained last week. Not gonna get that back, so. I did steps totaling 8,775 and calories of 1,839. And we ended the week on Wednesday morning, weighing in at 254 pounds flat pre-poo. I was about four pounds less at 250.4 pounds two weeks ago, so I'm still in the negative. But uh, as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. So if you're curious to see if I make it to my 100 pound plus goal, if you haven't done it already, please, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. And you can hit like, hit like helps too. And also please follow me on all the social media links in the description below and on the screen. All right, so here's my stats for week 45. You can pause the video to look them over, but I did steps totaling 54,426. Not my lowest by far, even with skipping two days of walking. My first week, I only did 32,000 around steps. So calories, I consumed 14,285. That's lots of extra calories during the new year's three-day binge that i did but uh that's all over no more drinking no more drinking after yesterday all right so my total weight loss did lose during week 45 was 3.2 pounds for a total of 86.6 pounds down in 45 weeks i'm still playing catch up i got seven more weeks to lose 13.4 pounds I think that is attainable, so I think I'm going to do it. I will do it. I, it's the whole object is to do it. Hopefully, I can hit that and maybe a couple pounds over. Anyway, I told you I was going to show you how to eat an elephant. And Sir Desmond Tutu, who was a cleric and a theologian, once wisely said, there's only one way to eat an elephant. <gasps> one bite at a time. And no... It doesn't mean eat Dumbo. It's just simply a metaphor, meaning to do something one step at a time or to do something in steps rather than everything all at once, especially if you're the only one involved in there. So you just set a goal and what may seem daunting can be accomplished gradually by just taking on a little at a time. My weight loss, for instance, is a perfect use of this theory. You know, I set a realistic goal to lose 100 pounds in a year, and I've stuck it out and slowly lost the weight with baby steps. I didn't go on some fad or crash diet and try to eat the elephant all in one bite and say I'm going to lose or say I'm going to lose 200 pounds in a year, something that's not possible probably or not smart. So <laughs> basically, don't try to eat the elephant all at once. Just put it in a deep freezer and eat it by your deadline. 
All right, well, that's all I had to say about eating elephants. No, we didn't really eat elephants. But I was the size of an elephant 45 weeks ago. Maybe I ate myself. I will get fit by 50, and I will lose 100 plus pounds. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Be safe out there. And please remember to use your damn turn signals. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for next week where I'm gonna catch me a new elephant. Easy, easy. That's a good boy. <laughs> Thanks for watching Get Fit by 50. Please subscribe to my channel and also follow us on the social links listed in the description below. And why don't you go ahead and watch another one of our videos.